The images in Flint native Hubert Massey's 88-foot-long fresco mural are meant to symbolize rebirth and growth. What an appropriate symbol for the rebirth of the Flint Institute of Arts. And what a renaissance it is. This September, the FIA reopened its doors after a 17,000 square foot expansion to house its ever-growing collection. Well, we now have a great potential that we didn't have before to expand in our programs and our educational offerings and to expand the collection. So we now have sort of a new lease on life and it's going to provide us with lots of opportunity for future growth. Museum director John Henry beams with pride when given the opportunity to show off this culmination of a decade of work. Well, I think what people don't think of when they think of their art museum is that it really houses their art collection. Uh, the museum is simply the steward of the collection, but the collection belongs to the city and everybody in it. And we're open every day and we're free of charge and we're here to serve the public. The Institute's addition represents much more than just space. The museum has become a destination. It's now a place for visitors to not only see great art, but also to experience it. From a solitary moment with a favorite piece, to a group tour by one of the many trained docents, to an opportunity to meet and relax with friends in the expanded foyer. It seems ironic that the first traveling exhibit in this brand new facility would celebrate one of the world's most ancient art forms. Excavating Egypt tells the story of great discoveries from the Petrie Museum of Egyptian Archaeology. It's housed in the Hodge Gallery, a space that can be redesigned to meet the needs of the many planned future exhibits. I think our expansion is emblematic of the city's commitment to revitalize and maybe reinvent itself altogether. Hopefully we're part of those organizations that are leading the way to put a new face on Flint.